So let's add the second weapon slot on the inventory and we can start adding the items and the spells and so on and so on. Now let's see what do we have a canvas here it is we should probably clean this up at some point so we have our right slot our left slot uh, let's see maybe move them up a little bit yeah well both of them are really too big to be honest something like that and maybe make this and put this on the side and then you have your middle ones something like this or whatever okay uh, obviously this is kind of terrible so just fix it from your end but let's name them And these are the items, all the consumables and the spells. Okay, so the spells, uh, I think the spells are probably, well, the spells and these items are probably the easiest ones to do. So let's see how we separate them. So we basically, we only have an icon hook for an image, uh, well, actually, no. I think we don't really care for that. Okay, let's just remove them entirely. And yeah, so these are basically just empty images. Okay, they're not really anything. They have inside their, I think that's just the background and that is the icon. Okay. Let's close that, okay. But why is this closing then as well? That's weird. Oh, that's, that's just the mask, okay. Okay, so let's enable the masks. But we're going to color them something dark. Okay, something like that. So if any of these icons doesn't have a sprite we should be closing them but in generally we should also be closing this as well now so let's create an inventory manager but first of all let's add them inside a game UI. okay let's see we are scaling okay ah come on Okay, so let's go under our managers and let's call this UI manager. Unless we already have one, which I don't think we do. Oh, okay, we're good. Let's open this up. Okay. Now, we want to have easy access to this, so we're just going to make this a singleton. We don't really, we're not going to have multiple ones of this in the same scene, so uh, we don't really have to care to delete the other one. So, uh, with the UI manager then, we need some form or some way to tell that we have the left hand, the right hand, or any of the other four slots. Okay, the easiest way to do this without having to hard code things, we're just going to make a serializable class and we're going to say quick access slots. Okay, then we're going to have, we need also a reference to the UI obviously, and we're going to have an image or the target icon image and now we need to have some distinctions around them so let's say quick access 
slot type or quick slot type and we have right hand left hand item spell okay quick slot type quick slot type so uh, it's really easy and uh, really simple to how you can select this because we know left hand and right hand is just a bull the items only use well we can only assign items and spells you could also I'll only assign spells now uh, with that said maybe we don't even need to use well okay maybe with the enum we don't really have to do it like this with an enum I mean but then again why bother making something more complex when this can work as well okay so we're going to have quick access slots access slots and we're going to make four of them and now when I want to update an item or say update item slot I'm going to be passing the item itself okay and now yeah okay we need to know what we have stored inside the item however but I don't really want to be spamming references because if you are going to but yeah even if you are going to go with unarmed it just means you have an empty item there well okay let's go let's go with item okay so if item is weapon item now we're just going to pass a bull is left okay so if it is left or if it is right then we're simply going to detect here which one of the inaps we want to be using so let's make a quick access slot get quick slot or quick slot with the enum type let's rename this to quick slot okay then all we have to do is yeah okay I don't really like this it's going to work but I don't yeah you know what I think we're overthinking this we're way too much overthinking this so screw this we don't need any of this this is a ca this is categorization enough so we can just say quick quick access quick left hand right hand item spell now the only problem with this is we can have the no actually that's not a problem we can add the smaller ones that you have on the left on the items at least okay so if item is weapon item then cast this as a weapon item and then if is left assign it on the left hand or on the right hand and that will be quick left hand dot sprite equals weapon dot get let's see do we have the icon let's see how we were using the icon I think I forgot the how we were doing it and we had this so we're basically going to say request me an icon and update icon okay so we're just going to assign the icon hook directly onto the items okay which means in the UI manager which will have been open which it is we're going to be saving 
this. Okay, then all we have to do is pretty much just say quick left hand update icon hook and then just pass the item and we don't even need to do the cast same thing over here only for the right hand and then if item is consumable if item is spell which we do not have okay we don't have that yet ready so let's just comment it out and da -da 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 -da. yeah so basically the idea is the same you're just going to just drop quick item dot update icon hook and pass the item So, whenever we now we change a weapon, we know this from the controller and because we're doing it in here. Okay, so this will change your weapon and I think we have update current, update icon hook. Ah, okay, I see what we were doing. We actually had a UI manager which was called game UI, okay yeah my bad so we don't need this script at all but we can take one thing from it which is this and we're going to go over here we're going to remove the current item and we're going to take this exactly as it is and we're going to assign it here then switch this to target item, target item, target item, target item and all we need to know is bull is left okay then with this one we are pretty much done we don't really need it okay so on the controller now we need to just set pass in this case if it's left so if it's on the left hand it's going to use the different one so let's delete the UI manager okay close that let's see where do we have the game UI here it is so I'm going to change this to game UI as well let's move this on the top let's see what we have input manager we want a camera holder a player controller i'm just going to move the important things you know on the top so uh -huh, we have all that now we need to assign the back the icon hooks for images okay let's uh, write this a little bit better because we can have on start let's say that target image equals get component image and just so that you do not forget you can type type of image okay so this will load this will be responsible for loading the items onto our slots now let's assign then the the slots themselves and we have our quick left hand we, ca we have our quick right hand quick item and quick spell now let's see what happens if you if this is empty so if the item is null Icon, target icon. Yeah, if the item is null, I still want to change the target image, so I'm going to say target image dot enable equals false. Otherwise, target image dot enable equals true. Okay, so on start, basically we should be doing this. We should be calling for each item, 
to be added into its own place and I think we can do that via the inventory manager as well update references maybe update references we have the item which is the starting close okay this will create you your items your right hand left hand and then it's going to load right hand and left hand weapons okay but we have removed the consumable I believe yeah that one is removed current consumable yeah we have removed it entirely so we don't have to worry about that for now but we could so say on, on start or on the awake of this we can go in each one of them and say update icon hook just to null so these are actually closed when we start and we are left with the empty slots okay so we should be left with only the mask with which have an alpha on top of them so let's click play okay only one thing we're missing you do not have the target image yet because we are doing this on start okay let's see what i did there which means this needs to be moved on yeah it, it, it will have been moved on start but here's what i'm going to do then i'm going to just go inside here and we're going to say if target image dot sprite equals null target image enable equals false okay even simpler so it will only be enabled over here and technically it should only be enabled down here because this is the callback that you actually what uh, yeah I don't know what the hell this is okay but it should be like this so it should only be enabled down here because this is where you actually get the callback for for the icon that is now complete okay let's hit play and here we are changing the weapon and changing whatever we have so let's add the item since we do have a little bit more time and do -do -do. For the item, I think we were just calling them from from here, where we init. But we basically can just get it from the pro player profile, and we do have the consumables. Okay. Let's see how we are going to be saving the consumables. I guess, or actually, let's just take one of them, or maybe. Let's see, this returns you a consumable holder. Now I think we should just keep track of our consumables at least. Ah, we need, the, yeah, okay, we need the consumable holder. So we have a list then of consumable holder. Consumables. Ah, come on. Okay, then for profile dot consumables dot length consumable holder create consumable holder for profile consumables oh God. we need the item okay so we get the item we probably just get it from 
the resources manager how do we get them to next layer resource manager get item okay one thing is we need to know that this is not null neither empty okay and well technically the item should be a consumable item as well and then over here let's just do a public consumable holder create consumable holder that you can pass the item itself and to, to do if actually not if and just return consumable item okay so now we have all our consumables well at least we have the consumables which means we can also assign a consumable over here we can assign on the current consumable okay so if consumable holder uh yeah we need to add them on consumable items then current consumable will be consumables i'm just going to assign the first one and we're going to be changing them the same way we are changing the weapons okay we do have a switch weapons somewhere consume item actual okay uh, let's see yeah here it is so we do have a switch weapon let's create a public void for switch consumable we don't need to know if it's left or right obviously and then we're going to say if actually we're going to just get the index first of our current consumable current consumable obviously if consumables is empty do nothing so consumables index of current consumable and then we're going to add on it and if index is greater than consumables dot count minus one and basically index will now again be consumables dot count and now actually that would be zero okay then current consumable equals consumables index then game ue dot singleton dot load update card item actually we should probably rename this to something else and that pass as a consumable holder we need the base item that is of course as a consumable so you just need to cast it as an item oh we need to know if it's left or right so just pass false so it's useless okay and as you can see we don't really need to cast that and let's rename this to update quick slot for item okay so with this now we can just assign it on one of the debug keys which i think it's 
the the one where we press down that's in the controller we need the inventory manager eh, not the inventory manager the input manager over here okay so we have the D left I'm going to assume that we have the D right as well uh, the D down performed and for this one we could technically just add technically controller inventory manager switch consumable okay we can just have the delegate right away now let's take a look at what we have as a consumable let's see we only have one bestus let's assign one of them and i'm going to duplicate this i'm going to call this bestus focus and i'm going to assign this okay we don't really need the rest but what we do need is to add this in let's make this uh, see, seven and then let's replace this lock this best focus and best so that then we're just going to go on our player and in the consumables let's add bestus and bestus focus click play and we should have the items and uh, we might have them and we actually can check that if we see what happens in here so we do not have uh, no that's the spell okay so we do not have this because i think we're not actually telling them that we do so when i was going to switch i will see that it will switch so that's that happens because no i guess it doesn't happen because of that uh, no actually i'm wrong because we need to call this down here as well That was the difference. Okay, click play. And we get, that's definitely, the, we can see that the target item changes. Uh, only the icon does whatever it wants. That's not the correct item for sure. And I think that has to do because we are calling we are calling them at around the same time that we are calling the weapons. So let's see. Update quick slot, target item, update icon hook. So whenever we are actually update icon hook, whenever we are requesting an icon we should be adding that yeah okay <laughs> this needs to be inside a list and happen when one finishes it should wait until uh, that one is done and then create it again okay otherwise you're just going to want to request all of that for a list of items so that's actually I think doing the list would be easier but hmm. yeah okay so you know what I'm not going to really bother with this because let's see where we are calling the item we are calling this down here okay so yeah, no, we're going to have to make this into its own video, to be honest, because, yeah, we're going to have to rewrite 
the, how the icon manager schedules the tasks and then do the rest okay for now this works we know that it works because we are changing items even if they do not show and I think we will try and make them so however maybe raise this a little bit yeah it doesn't show maybe something with a model or maybe we forgot to open something doesn't matter anyway okay so I'm just going to call it done for this part we still have a few things to fix and on the next one we're going to just fix the icon manager so we can schedule tasks without having that issue we have over here okay if I was doing this one frame later and we can actually test that that is the case so let's see inside my inventory manager instead of doing this here you could just say do this or void create icon okay and we can just do an invoke in this case I'm going to delete this so don't worry too much about it okay and it's, it's going to to get it's probably going to just uh, appear empty because we do not have the yeah because we do not actually have the you won't show the prefab but if we select the item you can see that there is a sprite assigned over here maybe if we change some color no it's not just not going so oh and i think that has to do with the maybe with the layer we have that let's see energy no That's the default layer. Default, default, post processing for whatever reason. Default, yeah, no, okay. Anyway, we're just going to to worry about that on the next part. Okay, it just doesn't show on the icon manager for for a reason. I don't know. Maybe because the camera is too far away and we just can't tell the difference okay so on, on at least for this part we are good to go so as always you know what to do like subscribe and if you like to see more stuff more videos more series more of everything then consider supporting me on patreon so we can keep making all of these nice things we're making i'll see you next time